first day out there, how'd you feel? How's the health feel? Uh, it feels great. It was definitely good being back out there. Um, definitely with a, a little winded, but yeah, besides that, everything felt good. What sort of way do you think you are now? I feel good. So, you know, at this point, it's just um, continuing to just um, put perform out there on, on the field and then just wait for Coach Tomlin's word. Have you felt good for a while? I mean, how long has it been since you felt like you're back? Um, you know, I've been feeling good for a little minute, but you never know till you can actually get out there and, and, and practice in a, in a competitive environment and block and all that stuff. And, you know, you can never just do that outside with just trainers or anything like that. So, um, you know, I think the timing was right. Everything just worked out into this, um, this, this moment right here, and this is the, the best I felt. So, yeah, I definitely feel like this is the right moment. Is there a change for this weekend? Uh, with that, I don't know. I just, you know, coaches just told me to attack each day, and, you know, everything else will, will, will play out. So, at this point, I'm just getting ready for tomorrow's practice, so hopefully I can perform then. On that note, have they talked to you much about, I mean, obviously you missed a, a lot of time, you're a little bit behind in the offense. Have they talked to you about how much you might be able to catch up and, you know, still make a difference this year? Um, well, actually, I haven't missed too much. You know, I've been with the um, guys. <laughs> I've been with the guys throughout meetings, practice, walkthroughs, everything. So, um, as far as, like, as far as from a mental standpoint, I'm right there with them and, you know, physically just getting back out there, just, you know, being out that long is going to be a little rough, so just knocking that off. They worked you in on any special teams today while you were out there? Um, you know, just from a, just continuing to do what I've been doing before I was back, so yeah, I always do do um, special teams and that's something that I always worked on from, from the beginning. Punt return. Punt return, kick return, all of that, yes sir. What were some of the things you guys were doing to get you ready? It seemed like there were some pretty unique drills out there for you at uh, one point while you were <laughs> off to the side. Uh, yeah, I did a lot of stuff. You know, we got some good trainers. Um, Marcel, he um, really worked with me. We're doing some soccer stuff. You know, in soccer, you'll do various cuts, um, angles and stuff. And some of the angles you really can't put yourself in just on, on base football cuts. So, you know, just doing that to work my angles. And then Lou, uh, one of our, our equipment managers, we threw every day. And um, Jay, one of our other ones, we threw every single day. So. I was doing um, deep balls, short balls, just continuing to work my hands. So besides actually practicing out there, that was the only thing I wasn't doing. I was in, in meetings, catching, doing all, all of that stuff. So I'm really ready to get right back out there. Your so soccer game is probably pretty good. need a corner so. kick and ball floor, you're the guy. Uh, I'm there. I'm there. Yes, sir. I'm there. Yeah. If they told you, hey, we need you to be play. Oh, I'll be ecstatic and do everything do everything I can and whatever role that is to help. And I think I'll be ready to go. With you and Kenny coming in the same year, uh, you know, how much uh, have you guys, you know, had spent time together and what kind of relationship you guys have? Uh, we spent a lot of time together just from, you know, we had rookie pre, we had rookie premiere, um, rookie mini camp. Um, after the vets left, you know, the rookies had to stay a couple, a couple extra weeks. So um, we spent a lot of time together off the field, just hanging, getting food and stuff like that. So um, at this point, you know, there's we, we have a, a really good relationship, and I think it can translate right to on the field as well. Is Kenny kind of a uh, is he a normal guy, or is he like a football obsessed? I can see why this dude was a first round pick and is, is going to be successful. Um, I would say somewhere in between because he's very normal. You know what I'm saying? Normal, cool, everything. But um, you can tell when it's football, he 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 for real about that, and he he demands like everybody to be on point with him. He, he's not gonna go for no like you. You, you gotta be on point with him, or he gonna let you know. So you you you're gonna, you're gonna have to approach it with a certain mindset and level of intensity as him. Has he let you know before? Uh, he he don't let he don't gave me a, a, a face. And sometimes okay. if you do a face, you already know like okay, let me yeah, let me pick that up. Yeah. Levi, obviously, you practice against Josh Allen. What makes this offense and you know, guys like Stephon Diggs and I can do so dangerous? Uh, I think one they've been together for a while. Um, Josh has complete control of the offense, uh, and they just kind of know what each other's going to do um, and make them dangerous. And then you got guys that complement them like Gabe, um, and they're so versatile. Um, like I said, Josh has complete uh, control of the offense, and so if he sees something, he's going to make the check, um, and usually he knows what the defense is in. Is How much insider information yeah. can you give this week? How much insider information? I was there for four years, um, but I know – they, they change the schemes a lot, too. And so you never know what to expect, especially with Coach Frazier um, and Sean. They do a great job of scheming. Um, they know I was in that system for a long time as well as the offense does. And so um, we'll, we'll see. You know what I mean? It's 
they, they do a great job every every year and so we played the Steelers a little different every year and so I can't really tell exactly how they're going to play us this year. By the last couple of weeks it seems like the middle of the field is where opposing offenses have really gotten those chunk plays. What do you guys have to do or what things can you do I guess to maybe limit what, what the Bills are going to try and do? Um, I'll limit those middle of the field plays I guess. Uh, honestly I haven't really looked at where we're getting hit at. We just know we're giving up too many explosive plays here and so we got to try to minimize that. Um, we just got to do a better job executing, really. Um, and it starts with the players just taking accountability and responsibility. And so it's on us. Um, where's the secondary at health-wise? I know Mike T said yesterday you guys are a little banged up right now. Um, where do you guys feel like you're at as far as that goes? Uh, today's just Wednesday. You know, Sunday so far. Um, it's all about who shows up on Sunday and who's ready to play. Um, and if guys are missing, it's the next guy up. You know, we got to go out there and we got to win this game. You know, it's a must win for us just because it's, it's the next game we're playing. And so we look forward to the challenge, whoever's out there. You know, it seems like most of the problems on defense are fourth quarter. Um, see any correlation with why that's been happening? I don't. I think we just like, we got to do a better job finishing. Uh, it just comes down to us just executing um, and setting ourselves up early in the, in the, in the game. I think uh, we got to give our, our offense more chances, more opportunities. We need more turnovers, uh, like we did game one, and we just haven't been able to create some. And that's on me too. I haven't had any turnovers yet this season, so that's one of my main priorities: is trying to get takeaways.